A very pleasant greeting to you, my students in computer literacy class. Uh, this is Mr. Blumendahl, and today's lesson is going to have to do with how to use Wix as a platform to create your own website. Uh, in a separate lesson, I show you how to use Weebly as a platform to start your own website. So today we are going to use Wix. Uh, and similar to Weebly, before you can create a website with Wix, you must sign in and create an account for yourself. And you are going to do that using your Salem Kaiser account, student number at salemkaiser.org. By clicking sign in here, it should take us to where we need to be. And you're going to have two choices log in with Facebook which you will not do, or log in with Google, which you will do. Logging in with Google, let's see if it knows me. Okay. In this particular case, it just happens to know who I am because I've logged in before. Uh, you will need to create an account, and it should be um, your Google account. Uh, student number at SalemKaiser.org. Don't make any modifications to that. Don't change it. Keep it simple. You should probably also make your password the same password you use to log into uh, Typing Club because that will keep it simple. Now, in this particular case, I created a site first semester. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is delete the site because I'm about to show you how to create a site. So if the site exists, I can't create a site. So. Now we're to the point where it is giving us all kinds of templates and it says create your website. So that's the first thing we're going to do is click on the button that says create your website. And now it's going to ask you what type of website it is, similar to Weebly. We got business, designer, blog, beauty and wellness, restaurants and food, online store, photography, accommodation, Portfolio and CV, other, events, music. Feel free to look at any of these that you feel like. Um, designer could be interesting. Let's take a gander at designer. See if any of these appeal to us. Yeah, we could make those work. Could maybe make those work, but uh, those aren't our only choices. So... Uh, let's go ahead and use the Wix editor. And these are the templates we have available. And if you don't like them, there's even more pages of them. I see one that I could go with, perhaps. Uh, and remember, if you're not liking these, these are different templates you have. So we're looking at the design templates. If I wanted to just go with um, landing pages, that's an interesting concept. This is basically if you have a website and you haven't built it yet, a landing page is just a generic page that will show until your website is online. Uh, we also have creative arts, so if you have pictures, if you're a picture person, creative arts would definitely be something you could do. And I think I'm going to keep it to, let's see here, what options do I want to go with? Because this is getting boring for you to watch as a student. I'm actually kind of buying you some time to look at your own. I'm just going to go with see all templates. And these are probably their most popular, which is why they're here. And I'm going to go with... Um, trademark looks kind of interesting there. I could do that one. Or boutique law firm looks like something I could do. Let's go with trademark. It allows you to view it. So if you're not liking it when you see what it looks like up close and personal, 
you could do it that way. All right, so I like this one. I'm going to go with it. And we're going to edit this site. So I am now going to be creating my site. This is the little generic thing it does while it's loading all the stuff up. And I'm going to allow Flash Player to operate because if I don't, none of this is going to work. All right, so... Similar to Weebly, on the left you are going to see icons that um, create functionality in the site. Of course, this is taking longer to load than Weebly, but there we go. So, first thing I want to do is get rid of this, and we're going to just get rid of the R too. Don't need the R, sorry there. We are going to enter add text and this is going to be a site page title actually site title and I'm going to add it right there okay so we're going to add site title and that oh here it is right here we're going to drag it up here and notice those lines there when I see that purple line it tells me it's aligned to the top of what's on the right over here and I can actually change the shape of the box if I need to and so this is going to say edit text Mr. Blumendahl just like we did on Weebly and just like we did on Weebly, um, we have these, which are going to be the menu choices. Now here, the menu already exists, so we're going to go to Manage Menu. So it's a little bit different than Weebly. You click on Manage Menu. This gives you the choices. So uh, just like with um, Weebly, I'm going to go ahead and rename these. So Rename. Works is now going to become US History, just like I did on the Weebly site. Um, these have submenus. I'm going to delete the submenus because I don't need them or want them. So goodbye submenu number one and goodbye submenu number two. Okay. I'm also going to create a geography page because I'm teaching a geography class next year so I'm going to rename this one geography world geography and I am going to create uh, one for computer lit here the class that I am teaching you computer lit -C. so that's done so now I click my X I have renamed these links up here for the pages I'm going to be creating. This is the home page. U.S. History will be another class. World Geography will be another class. And Computer Literacy will be another class or a page. So now the first thing I need to do here is get rid of the stuff I don't want. I don't want the trademark. I don't want the R. I don't want advertising and marketing. I'm going to get all rid of that. And I'm going to change trademark here to Mr. Blumendahl. Because I'm the one who's creating the site, not trademark. And this is not 2023, this is 2017. So now I've made that legit and accurate. I'm also going to change this address because um, I am not in San Francisco. I am at 2805. Lansing Avenue Northeast and I am in Salem Oregon 97301 and if anyone cares the phone number here is 503-399-3215 and I could put my extension there because I have one and it is 409-617. I don't even have it memorized. 617. There we go. So now that's an accurate address for me. 
And if I wanted to connect it to a Facebook, a Twitter, or a Google account, I could. I'm not going to do that. So right now, we need to get rid of this. Delete. Manage bookings. Okay, I'm not booking stuff. So I might have actually chosen the wrong page here. It's entirely possible. What I would like to do right off the bat is change the picture. And this background is boring me. So background. It gives me choices. If I want moving backgrounds, I could choose a video. If I want a road trip background, if I want a nice soothing oceanic background, if I want a record player background, kitty cat background, dogs, tree, a lovely tree. If I want a city in the city. All right, if I want flowers, so many choices, so little time, folks. I'm just going to go with this lovely watery background and apply it to all the pages. No, 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 no. I want to apply it to my home page. There we go. I do not want it applied there. I'm going to DX that. Okay. Actually, how do I DX that? It's not letting me DX that. Minus. No, no, oh, you know what? It thinks I'm on the computer literacy page. That's why I want to be on the home page. So I need to be on the right page for that to work. We need to be on the home page. So we're going to go to site, click on home here. Now we're where we need to be. And now this will get a little bit easier. So now if I want to change the background of this page, which I do, I'm going to use the lovely floating particles. That's a little weird. That's a little dark. We're going to go with the watery theme. Beautiful. Okay. So that is now in the background. And now I want to change this picture. And we got to find Waldo Middle School. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to find Waldo Middle School, and I'm going to copy the URL of the picture for Waldo Middle School, like I did with, uh, that's the Waldo Middle School in Illinois. We're looking for the one that's actually in Oregon. Hey, there's Mr. Larios. You would think we would be able to find a picture of the school. Kind of crazy that we can't find a picture of the school. That's because I'm on Yahoo. See, Yahoo is not as good a search engine. you got to go to Google. Google, I bet, will pull it up right off the bat. Let's see if I'm right. Not downloading Chrome. Sorry, I'm searching. It's trying to force me to download Chrome because I'm using Firefox. Here we go. Waldo Middle School. Okay, now see it already pulled up a picture there. Images, that's the one I want right there, 800 by 600. Copy image location, come back to the website editor, change image, settings, and oh look, it remembers my pictures from before. Too bad, I'm getting rid of them. That's too old, and my room doesn't look like that anymore. And I'm going to go to upload or drag and drop, add images to your site, all media, my images, social images. So I can pull these in from any of my social media accounts, from Wix, from Big Stock, or upload. Okay. The challenge here is we need to get this picture. No, I don't want to go to the site. We need to get this picture saved. So I could go save image as. And if you have the option to save it to your Google Drive, that's what you would have to do. I'm going to go ahead and download it to my desktop. I've now done that. I'm now going to come in here to my images, 
upload image and I'm going to find it. Where is the image? Where is it? Should say Waldo. There it is. Highlight that. Open it. It's loading. It's done. I'm going to choose it. And now it has been added to my site. Butimus. Okay. Now this, I do not want to say branding. This is going to be home. This is going to be like my links up top. And this is going to be U.S. history. Changing, changing it up. U.S. history. Get rid of the content. Don't want that. Okay. You know what I also don't want? These images. Get rid of the image. Delete. Get rid of the image. Delete. I'm going to move home. That I would like to actually be... Oh, I can't. Okay. They've got it right justified. So you have to be very precise with how you drag this so it doesn't cross the lines you don't want it to cross. Um, I actually would like that to align. I can animate it. I could have it bounce in like that. Okay. Okay. But if I do that to that one, I have to do that to all of them. So this button I need to drag and stretch so it matches up with the other button and creates a consistent... Oh, see, now it's getting all big. I do not want it to be that big. I don't understand why it is that big. Oh, I can shrink it like that. Perfect. And just like I did with the other, I'm going to change the way it comes in to bouncing in. So it's going to bounce in. Uh, I also, you know, as I'm looking at this, I'm going the color scheme's not working for me. So I'm going to click on design and find a color scheme that's more agreeable to me. Something like that. I think I want something rectangular. I do want something rectangular, and I think I'm going to go with black. So there we go. Boom boom or boom I think I'm gonna go with this one there we go you might find it boring but I get to choose it's my site okay so there I've done that I'm gonna do the same with my US history design I'm gonna scroll down Let's find the same format as the other one and it was this one okay I'm going to come over here to strategy. Strategy is going to become geography. We're going to get rid of the chess piece. Sorry for those of you who are in the chess club. I'm going to change the text to world geography. I'll add the link later. And I'm going to change the design. So it's got the same design as the other pages. Again, this is very complicated. Oh, you know what? That actually looks even better. Yeah, we're doing that. That looks spectacular. I really like that. I'm going to change that for all of them. And this one is going to be computer lit. I could probably find an image for computer lit, and if I can do that, great. Uh, right now, because this is a YouTube video, I'm not going to worry about that because that's going to be very time consuming. Okay. But I realize as I'm doing this on the screen, you guys are experimenting with it yourself, and that's what you should be doing. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of my choices here, all the way to the bottom. And the one I liked best was this one, that one. Perfect. No, this one. Thank you. X out. And I'm going to do that with these as well. Design. Scroll all the way to the bottom. You have to wait for the menu to load in all the way to the bottom. 
get started. And that's because I'm using this particular theme that I have to do this. Uh, depending on what you're doing, you won't have to. And I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Perfect. Change it up. Exit out. Now with these, I need to add the animations as well because I haven't done that yet. Animate. Bounce in. Snap. Animate. Bounce in. Snap. And we're done. The only thing I'm noticing is this is going to look better if I drag it to the bottom. Okay. So there, I've dragged that button to the bottom. I'm going to drag this button to the bottom. That way it's not blocking out the picture of the school. Okay. I'm going to drag this button to the bottom. So those buttons are also going to duplicate my menu at the top. So there's a little bit of duplication there, but I'm okay with that. Drag that down there. That's looking good. All right, that's exactly how I want it to look. So instead of leave a mark, I'm actually going to make this banner go all the way across. And just like I did on the Weebly site, I'm going to enter my text here. Edit text. All caps, welcome. Edit my text. Welcome, actually, to Mr. Blumendahl's classroom, exclamation point. First of all, it's good to be able to read a font, so you need to change the color scheme sometimes. I'm going to go over here to color, and I just want that to be straight white. Perfect. Now I've made that color. I also want it to be centered. So I'm going to go to Align, Center. That's now centered. And everything else there. If I wanted to animate it, I could. Um, because we're this is becoming a longer video, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Same thing here. The text that's there. Um, I'm going to stretch this text box out to fit the dimensions that I want it to have. And I'm going to say the same thing I said yesterday when I made the Weebly video. Edit the text. I want the text to be white. So it can actually be red. And I'm just going to say, welcome. Welcome to my presence on the world wide web please use this site for important links and information about my class that's all we need perfect fantastic all right, I could also choose to center that, and I think I'm going to. So we're going to go back to Edit Text. We're going to go to Alignment and Center because that is smaller than one line. I could also animate it. I'm going to bounce that in. I can animate the title here. I'm going to bounce that in. You want to keep your animations fairly consistent. Now you could have more fun with them if you wanted. All right, so now I've got that. The next thing I'm going to do is add a contact form because it's important to have. So here's my contact form. I'm going to click on that. It should now give me choices of what kind of contact form I want to have. This is actually better than Weebly because you have all kinds of choices. Some of them are pretty funky. In fact, notice they put the map there with you. So let's try this one. Black and white, full width. I'm putting the contact form in there. Perfect. Uh, we're going to change the address. So we're not in San Francisco. It's going to be 2805 Lansing Avenue, Northeast. Let's find it. 
hey, it just happens to have found exactly where we are. And that actually creates, and it is Waldo Middle School. I'm gonna give a title to where it is. We're gonna set that. And perfect. It's exactly what we want. It looks exactly how we want it to be. And that should be my map. All right, so now we also sometimes will want to add buttons. So I'm going to add, see if it allows me, text, image, gallery, slideshow, button. I want to add buttons. I can choose what the buttons look like. It's good to maintain thematic consistency and see here it knows what I've already used other places. So it's allowing me to use that here. So we're going to create a button. It's going to put that button right there. I want that button to actually be further down. So I'm going to put it right here. Okay. That button is going to become my Google Classroom button. So we're going to change that to, I'm trying to keep this consistent with the Weebly video, Google Classroom. And I'm adding the link because it just so happens I know that link off the top of my head. It's a web address, and it happens to be classroom.google.com. And it will open up in a new window. If you put current window, it'll open up in the same window and block out your web page. You don't want that. So boom. That button has been created. I am now going to add... Another button. I'm going to move that one down here. And actually, I'm going to stretch this out here so that this looks better because this doesn't look good. Um, see right here where I can, I can drag the footer. I'm going to do this. I'm going to create space for my buttons. And I also want to put them so they're kind of spaced. It says X621. They're, so they're spaced a little bit nice, more nicely. And notice that line tells me that it is. And then this is going to be Waldo Middle School. And I'm going to have to make, and that's going to be at a web address, waldo.salkeiz.k12.or.us new window, blank that out, and because Waldo Middle School takes up a little more space, I'm going to stretch out the box so that it looks a little bit better, and I'm going to move it around. Let's see if it gives me, yeah, I like that there, and I like this slightly to the left so that it's kind of got a similarity to it. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have created this. So now it's time to publish it and see what it looks like and if I like it. So what kind of address choices are they going to give me? Okay, so they've given me my last name, first name. Uh, if I wanted to change that, I wonder if I could. We'll have to figure that out in a moment. Let's take a look at the site on the web, see if I like the way it looks. Look at that. The water's in the background. The picture of Waldo's there. My buttons are floating in just the way I want them to. I'll link to them later. There's my welcome to Mr. Blumendahl's classroom. This is not a contact form. It is a map. So, and there's my buttons. Let's see if they work. Google Classroom definitely is working. Okay. Waldo Middle School definitely is working. If you're going to create a link, you always want to make sure that it works. So the one thing I don't have here that I want is a contact form. So I'm going to go back to my editing page. I'm going to insert the contact form add contact right there and I'm going to scroll up past the maps to the 
simple contact forms. I would prefer one that has a black background if I can get it. If I can't, I'm actually going to go to this one. Okay. There it is. They put it in there for me. So notice, in order to make that fit properly, I'm going to have to stretch it. Make sure it doesn't block that out. I'm going to have to come down here and move my map down so that it's not blocking my map. Okay. Move my map a little bit more so it's not blocking the send button. Perfect. Now I can click on my contact form and I'm going to edit the settings on it. So it knows my email address all, already. I'm not adding a, se a second email address. I don't want to change any of that. I do want to change the design though. So I can, these are themed ones. Let's see if it gives me better options that look better. I'm looking for something that fits the visual scheme of my site. And based on what I'm seeing, none of these really do. So I guess I'm going to keep it or I'm going to customize it. Fill color and opacity. There we go. I want that color to be closer to this. Perfect. That matches my site better. Or I could go black. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go with that. I've now changed that officially. And my send button. Button background. Change it up. Go like that. No, Trey Lame. I'm going to go to black as well. Perfection. Now I've got the color scheme I want. And I also have a contact form. So if I want to animate it, like I do everything else, it's going to bounce in too. Snap. See how it bounced in there? Everything's awesome there. And layouts. Do I want to change the layout? I could have all of that shifted to the right. That would be weird. We're going to keep it on the left. So now I'm going to click Publish again. And it's going to take us to the site again. And let's see how it looks. Check that out. You've watched me create that, kids. There's my contact form. So if I want to send myself an email, it's all there. The map is still there looking good. Oh, you know what? By moving the map, I covered my buttons. That's why you always have to check. So now I need to go back to the editor. I'm going to get out of the site. I did not notice that before. And because I did that, I need to pull this down again. I'm going to move it down so it's not blocking my map at all. I still need to move it down further. It's not blocking my map at all. I got to wait till we're out of the map completely. Get away from my map. A pretty big map actually. I don't need my map to be that big. So instead I'm going to pull these buttons down until they create space and I can put them basically where they were before. Good. See that footer really wants to follow me up. So I may need to make sure I'm dragging it exactly where I want it to be. Yeah, see there, now I've given space to the button. Footer's there. I need to go up and get my other button and bring it down to where I want it. There's my other button. Bring it down to where I want it. Scrolling. Scrolling. No, nope, no, nope, I didn't want to stretch it. I want it down here. Perfect. That's my other button. And it's about the same distance from the dotted line. And then I'm going to look into the map, set the map. How does the map behave? That's an interesting question. 
and I want the map to be no 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 right about there now we're going to publish it again it's going to take us there again we're going to see if it behaves the way we want there we go there's the map there's the buttons perfect the one thing i'm noticing here that i don't like is i see the word site title right in the middle of Waldo there. I don't want that. I'm going to go back and delete that because I just noticed it now right here. This site title, I don't want that. Bye bye. I deleted it. Publish. I'm not going to bother looking at it again. We're about to wrap this bad boy up. And let's go ahead and switch what it looks like on a mobile device. Okay, so on my mobile device, this is what my site's going to look like. That, ladies and gentlemen, is kind of cool. Although it looks like I might need to create a little bit more space at the bottom. Right here for the button. Let's see if I can actually do that. Can I stretch that down? Uh, I want to actually stretch this line down. There we go. Perfect. I want that space. I'm going to save that. Done. I'm also going to publish that. Done. And I'm going to go back to what it looks like on the desktop. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you have just watched me create a site. It took a while. Let's not kid ourselves. But um, this is how you use Wix. I think there are some aspects of Wix that are actually better than Weebly, but I will allow you to decide for yourselves. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Blumendahl once again signing off until the next lesson in computer literacy at Waldo Middle School.